Hello, this is Overlord Bo, back with another ship review video, and today we'll be going over the top 20 uh, coal ships for 2023 that I'll be recommending to you all. Now, during, throughout this video, first I'll be going over the tier 10s, then I'll be going over the tier 9s, and after that I'll be going over the tier 7 and the tier 5 uh, coal ships I'd recommend for you all uh, to be getting this year if you guys are interested in getting coal ships, which most of you are if you're watching this video. Now, first up, I'm going to be going over the tier 10s. Now, this tier is recommended for captain and free XP farming. Now, in addition, there are several recommended ships that are very powerful in competitive modes and will, will be mentioned uh, throughout throughout this video as well for the tier 10s. Now, the first up I'll be talking on the day is the Salem. Now, the Salem costs 240,000 coal. It is a US tier 10 uh, heavy cruiser and is similar to the Des Moines, but has a super heel and an inferior uh, 8.5 kilometer radar instead. Now, otherwise, it has the same hull and guns. Now, it does have a similar play style to the Des Moines, but it specializes in finding other cruisers while giving up uh, a utility. Now, it is good in randoms, good in ranked, and in seas uses in lower leagues of clan battles. Now, it is recommended for those who like the Des Moines and want to play a U.S. heavy cruiser line without research the tech tree and stat patterns. Now, again, I'd also, if you want a unique play style, the ship isn't really for you if you're looking for like a unique kind of play style kind of ship. Uh, pretty much for the Salem, how I play it is I play it a lot more open water compared to the Des Moines. And that's main, so I play the ship with open water in a range mod. Uh, since it does have a super heal, it makes it a lot more able to do that while the Des Moines doesn't get a super heal. So it's a lot more squishy in that regard, but totally up to you in that. You can, if you're interested in this, definitely pick it up. Definitely a good ship to pick up in, in currently in the coal ship, uh, armory. The next ship we'll be looking at is going to be the Max Emelin, uh, which is the German tier 10 CV. Uh, it costs 264,000 coal. It does have a very unique play style. It uh, uses powerful HE skip bombers and decent torpedoes with good reserves. It also is relatively powerful compared to other CVs. It's definitely good in randoms, but it's probably the best non band uh, CV in clan battles, but it is outclassed by her crew and FDR and ranked. Now it's somewhat easier to use than other CVs due to the fact there's only skip bombers and the torpedo bombers, but you still have to learn how to use the skip bombers, which isn't really that hard. Uh, but in the end, I do highly recommend this ship. It is, it is a strong CV, but I'd slightly recommend the Malta over her, which I'll be going over the Malta uh, after I'm done with this ship. Now for me, the Emblem is one of my favorite CVs in the game. Uh, my most, my two most favorite and the ones I only really play is the Emelin and the Bjorn. The Emelin is for its unique play style with the skip bombers and torpedo bombers only. And the Bjorn is pretty much strictly for the fighter build and just you kind of just harass CVs the whole time. So if you're interested in getting a a ship with a unique play style, the CV with the skip bomber and the, and the torpedo bombers only, I would definitely recommend the Emelin for you. The next tier 10 uh, ship on our list is going to be the Malta. The Malta is a Royal Navy tier 10 CV. It costs 268,000 coal. It does have a unique play style with the powerful AP copper bombers, respectable torpedo bombers, and the niche rockets that are against that are good against DDs. Oh, sorry, great against DDs. Now for the Malta, she does have very powerful and easy to use fast plane regen, which is super nice, by the way. Uh, the AP Carpet Bombers can dev strike life cruisers if they are not careful in dodging. So definitely be wary of fighting the Malta if you do see her in a match in your light cruiser. It is excellent in randoms and is outclassed by the Nakamov in ranked, unfortunately. The Nakamov is pretty strong right now uh, in ranked if you do see CVs. Now, I would highly recommend the Malta for CV players and also notable of one of the few good Royal Navy CVs that are around. Now, again, my per but for my personal, for, so pre me personally, I like the Emblem more, but the Malta is overall a stronger CV over than an Emblem. So if you want, if you're trying to get a stronger CV, then I would recommend you get the Malta over the Emblem. But it's more of a personal choice between the two. So if you like the Malta more, you can get the Malta. If you like the MM more, it's more up to you in that regard. But I recommend both the CVs for sure. For the cruisers, I'd recommend uh, currently for the coal ships for Tier 10. Uh, next would be the Malta. Sorry, not 
thought the Delta. The Napoli. The Napoli costs 252,000 coal and is an Italian tier 8, tier 10 heavy cruiser. Now, it does have a very unique play style. Powerful close combat cruiser with twerps and sap secondaries. It's very tanky at the expense of poor main gun DPMs. Uh, the, medi the mediocre in randoms, but solid in ranked meta and in clan battles. And it's very fun in co-op indeed for sure. And, for, and is definitely recommended for the competitive game modes. Now, currently, the, one of the main things that makes that Napoli they're really good is pretty much just how tanky this ship is. This this ship is very tanky, also has the exhaust smoke. So pretty much if you need to get out of any sticky situation, you can pretty much just use the exhaust, the exhaust smoke to leave a situation. And you also, as you're cutting away, you can use the torpedoes on this thing, which are very, very nice indeed. It's a very fun ship to play. Definitely recommended as one of the top uh cruisers for tier 10 uh coal ships at the moment the next cruiser i'd recommend for tier 10 uh recommended coal ships would be the mosfa now the mosfa is a heavy tier 10 russian cruiser uh costs 244,000 coal now it does have a somewhat unique play style uh cross the petrol and the stalingrad it is a heavily armored cruiser specializing at mid to long range combat it, i'd say it's probably a normal difficulty to play uh it does it is kind of difficult sometimes due to the fact that there's just a giant broadside and if you're not careful or you'll get absolutely dev trucked in this thing so definitely be careful of that now i say it's about average to good in randoms currently uh, above average in ranked and useful in both clan battles and cots so it's definitely a competitive ship that will most likely be used in the future so if you are in doing competitive play that i'd highly recommend getting the mosfa now, it's also recommended for players who want a long range version of the Petro or a viable competitive ship. Normally, this ship, you can play it both bow in or if you're in a kiting angle where you at, pretty much have the guns perfectly angled. They can't citadel you and you can still use all three of your guns and it does a really good job at long range. So, definitely just take note of that. If you want to get the Moss Sub, it's definitely a good ship to get. Moving on to the tier 10 uh, DD recommended uh, would be the Marceau. Uh, it is a French tier 10 uh, destroyer. It costs 236,000 coal. It is a somewhat unique play style with the Kleber hull with fast firing Kleber guns. It's also an excellent kiting ship, high skill floor with a very high skill ceiling. It is definitely good to very good in randoms, good in ranked, and in niche for clan battles and cots. Now, I highly recommend for skilled DD players and those that want a good but challenging ship. However, I would not re recommend this as, as your first uh, tier 10 ship, though, because this ship having such a high skill ceiling and a, a high skill floor means you'll be punished severely. You don't have any smokes, so if you don't know how to use your concealment wisely, you'll definitely get destroyed in that. Now, as you guys have probably have seen on stream or in my funny comps, I love playing the Marceau, and how I particularly play it is as a DD hunter. I build for full concealment with RPF and no range mod or no AFT. I just build strictly into hunt, be able to hunt other DDs or subs, and this thing is a really good job of that, which it does better than the Club Air. Since the Marceau's guns are pretty much more like short, slower velocity and have worse arcs than the club air the club air is more of a long range dd farmer while this ship is more of like a closer kind of brawler to fight other dds so if you want or if you're looking for a kind of ship to hunt other dds or kind of do like more of a mid-range farming you can uh if you want to build into it you're more than you're more than welcome to but again i definitely definitely recommend the marceau just not as your first tier 10 ship though now, the final ship I'm recommending for the tier 10s uh, for the coal is going to be the Forest Sherman, which costs 232,000 coal. It is a US tier 10D. It is very similar to the Friesland and Grotigan in play style, but it has, U it has the sap and has torpedoes with limited firing angles. As you can see right here, there's the two there and the two over there. Now, it does have the fastest firing guns in the game, but the ship does suffer from poor maneuverability. And now, it is an average skill floor and an average skill ceiling. It is good in randoms and mediocre in ranked and not used in clan battles. Now, it's definitely recommended for gunboat DD enthusiasts. Now, I've seen so many matches, pretty much the meme where you're killing someone with a spoon for how many shells this thing spits out. It's definitely a really fun tier 10 D to get, so it's definitely up there on my highly recommended for the tier 10 coal ships. Now moving on from the tier 10s, now we're going to be moving on to the tier 9 coal ship recommended for 2023. Now, 
Now, tier 9s, I'd recommend is more for credit farming. Now, aside from the two BBs, the Groningen and Zuma are recommended as free XP ships. So, definitely take note of that for the future that you can get the Groningen and the Azuma uh, for uh, free XP. Uh, they are very good ships to get for free XP. Just putting that out there, they are very nice for that. Now, the first ship we'll be going over is going to be the Kearsarge. So, the Kearsarge is the first US Tier 9 BB hybrid. Uh, it costs 228,000 coal. Now, it is a very unique play style with a BB gameplay, but has access to the controlled uh, rocket planes. It has high, high alpha damage, an immense spotting utility, but very poor survivability, as you can see how large this broadside is and how much uh, armor you can just spray and just pan all over the place. Now, with this, pretty much like this ship is at an extremely high skill floor in ceiling. It's definitely good in randoms, good in ranked, and likely meta and clan battles. Now, it's definitely recommended for competitive and unique play styles if that's something you're looking for. Now, it's not recommended for newer players and those who struggle on multitasking because pretty much this, bat, this ship best shines if you are able to use both planes and the guns in unison, as in use the planes to spot a target, get the rockets going off as you switch back to your main guns, and get a salvo going off as the rockets are going off so you can get it like a broadside shot. And that's pretty much how the Cure Sergeant is. And also, the Cure Sergeant is a good trainer for the upcoming uh us hybrid bb line or if they're already out uh the us hybrid bb line so if you're trying to get a practice for that line uh the cure sarge would be good practice for you uh, for that particular ship the next tier nine uh bb recommending for the coal ship is going to be uh the palmer now the palmer is a tier nine german bb that costs two hundred and twenty eight thousand coal now it is similar to other german bbs effectively a tier nine uh terpes uh with hydro now, it is a low skill floor and a low skill ceiling ship. It does average in randoms and is okay in ranked and amazing in 3v3s or 1v1 brawls. Now, it's definitely a safe pick for the tier 9 BBs uh, for the coal ships. And it can be fun with secondaries when they work. And it's definitely easy to use uh, with that. So, if you're looking for just a fun tier 9 BB to pick up, the Palmer is definitely a good choice for you in that regard. The final tier 9 ship on my recommended for the 2023 uh, coal ships is going to be the Black. Now, the Black costs 292,000 coal. It is a tier 9 USDD. Now, the ship is one of the only ships in the game that has a smoke and a radar gimmick. Very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, the ship is also a pretty much a high skill floor, a high skill, like a low, like pretty much like a medium skill floor to a high skill sitting ship. You play a ship really well it can do really well but it can also be very punishing if you don't play it properly um with that gimmick it's really good to be able to hunt dds but other than that with its really 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 high coal price it's like you're pretty much paying for that smoke uh in radar gimmick so it's definitely like if you want to pay that much for it, you can if not it's, it's totally up to you but with that radar and smoking for tier nine it's definitely one of the stronger uh tier nine uh dds that are currently in the game with that specific gimmick so that's why I would recommend it for the tier 9s. Moving on from the tier 10s and the tier 9s, we're we'll going to the tier 7s and below. So the ships of this tier are more for more fun. So I'll be recommending more ships uh, at this tier that are more for fun. And because the tier 9 and 10 is more for, for farming and competitive potential. So first up, there aren't going to be any tier 7 recommendations. There'll only be tier 6s and 5s, just putting that out there. Uh, so for fun, I'd recommend the Aguil. It is a tier six uh, French DD. It costs forty nine thousand five hundred coal. It's um, it, it has a Russian DD play style, not French. It has the long range uh, gunboat with fast repetition. Sorry, re fast reposition. Sorry, it does not have the French DD saturation, so you definitely be wary of that when you are playing this. And it does have an above average skill floor in ceiling. And it's definitely fine in randoms and ranked. It's definitely recommended for a solid mid-tier gumbo DD. So that is why I would recommend the Agil. The next tier 7 and below ship I'd recommend for fun is going to be the Anshin. It costs 40,000 coal. It is a tier 6 pan-Asian DD. Now it's essentially a Russian DD with 8 kilometer torpedoes. Has a unique uh, premium camo which gives plus 100% free XP earnings. And can be played as a... Royal, uh, sorry, a Russian DD or just a standard DD. 
Now it has an average skill floor and ceiling. It is definitely solid in both ranked and randoms. It is definitely recommended for an inexpensive free XP farming ship if you are looking for one of those. Now moving on from the tier 6s, we're going to be going down the tier 5 for the fun ships. Now the next ship we're recommending is going to be the October Revolution. It costs 53,500 coal. It is a tier 5 Russian BB. Now it's pretty much a tier 5 version of the Gungit. Overall improvement on um, most aspects. It does have the standard uh, Russian BB playstyle. Uh, somewhat easy to play, average skill floor. And is definitely solid at randoms for sure. And is also recommended for a cheap and good low tier premium BB. Also is pretty good in ranked as well if there is tier 5 ranked. So I'm just putting note of that as well. This thing is pretty much a tier 5 Russian bias machine it's definitely a lot of fun to play and is one of my favorite tier 5 bbs if i ever want to play tier 5 it's definitely one of my recommended in fun ships for that tier so if you definitely recommended in wanting to play that uh you sure can it's definitely a good price too so it's also a nice crew trainer for tier 5 as well if you're looking for something uh for the russians now the final recommended ship on the list for the coal ships or for 2023 is going to be the hill it costs 38,000 coal, is a tier 5 USDD. Now, it's similar to the Nicholas, but it has more guns, but with one less torpedo rack. Now, it's definitely a stealthy gunboat and is good at fighting other DDs, but it's definitely reliant on fires to hurt battleships. Now, it definitely excels in tier 5 ranked. It is above average difficulty to play. It is definitely recommended for a good low tier gunboat, especially for ranked. The thing also has decent anti-air for the tiers, so also take note of that as well. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for my recommended ships for coal ships for 2023. Uh, if you guys have any other recommended coal ships you would uh, like to be, be seen on this list or want to recommend it in the comments, uh, definitely put them down below. I'd definitely appreciate that. But thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate you guys. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. This is Overlord Boat, and I'll talk to y'all later. Blah!